What's good, my smoking RC family? Welcome back to the channel. In our last video, you see we did a review on the Kyosho Mini Z, and the thing was pretty damn cool. It's actually sitting right here behind us. That's the one. But in the video before that, we did a rebuild and a review on a boat called the Twin Cat Animal, and the thing was insane. Now, you can check that video out, but I've been doing some research trying to find something a little more my leg size. I finally pulled the trigger, and it's finally here. It's fast, it's Kevlar, and it's self-riding. This is the Oxidine Marine Dominator. Now, we gotta go ahead and install the receiver, grease some shafts, and do a few other things, but then we're gonna get to ripping this thing, and we're gonna truly test it out. I can't wait, so without further ado, let's get into it. came to my mind when I opened up this boat. Wow, and oh my God. I mean, check this thing out, guys. Look at that Kevlar job. Now these holes are for the self-writing feature. And look at the line on that hatch. Did I mention look at the Kevlar job? Holy crap. Now, we're still gonna have to add the turn fins, the um, shaft prop, pickups, you know, rudder, things like that. But this thing is awesome. You guys wanna see what's on the inside? Let's do it, bomb! Now, 180 amp Oxidine Marine. It's a hobby wing that's rebranded. He sticks EC8s on there. Sure, some programming things. Now, this motor, big 2000 KV, 4082 six pole. He calls it his monster motor. And it is a monster, look at that thing. I mean, everything is just so classy. Look at that, the orange metal servo horn. Metal geared servo, the orange to match. Wow, this thing is just beautiful. And here's all your parts that we're gonna have to install in the battery tray. Now, check this out, this will tell you. Look how thick that hull is. Wow. This thing is awesome. Now we're gonna get it hooked up and then we're gonna get out there on the water and just rip it. Can't wait. All right guys, she's all put together. Now, when you get this boat, you're gonna have to install the turning fins the shaft, the prop, water pickups, the rudder. You're gonna have to hook up the receiver, and I got this waterproof uh, receiver box, um, Amazon, 12 bucks. You're gonna have to get your antenna on there. Now this part was annoying, to get your fingers around that brace and get the antenna up in the hole, ugh, annoying. But we got it done nonetheless. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it, it's ready to go now. During install, I did have to find my own grub screws for the water pickups. Um, and then when I did my first and only dry test so far, I did have to reverse the throttle. But other than that, this thing is legit. I wouldn't even call those issues. Those are just things you gotta do. I mean, they hooked you up with everything you need for this boat. I mean, they even gave you zip ties. I mean, they don't have to do that and they did it, which is awesome. So we're gonna get this thing hatched up. I'm super excited and we're going out on the water. All right guys, we're at the proving grounds. It's a little chilly today, you know, 60 degrees here in South Florida, but the Dominator's in the back. Got the kiddo to help with filming and with just help all around. And we're here, we're at the lake, the same lake that we did the Twin Cat um, review on. So I'm familiar with it, I'm comfortable with it. Eventually we're gonna find a bigger lake but this is what we're working with today, folks. It's a nice little spot. So without further ado, let's just jump into it.
turkey. Okay, let's go. See what happens. Holy crap. Holy crap. I'm lit. Can I just fly? No, no it's just no in the air. No, no, try and do laps. Do some video of it. Austin's scared right now, folks. I'll go slower, I'm just learning. Go, just do it. Don't do that, though. What are you doing on and off the gas like that? That's horrible. Steady. You gotta keep water flowing through the components, so you have to go at least a certain speed. Just drive. I'm driving around. You. Just keep the same circle. That's all. Give it some gas. Give it some gas. There you go. That one's good at driving. Just be easy on the on the turning. You should be good. I just don't want to hit you. You're fine. Whoa! 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 Where did it even go? Where did it even happen? <laughs> what? <Whoa. laughs> did it just dive down and come back up? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. That's it, boys. All right, guys, I know I keep saying it, but wow, this boat is truly insane. From handling to speed and everything in between, it just went above and beyond my expectations. Now, I had to test the durability out on it, and I ran aground. Well, I flew into the air, and then I ran into the ground. Totally my fault, but you gotta check it out. No damage whatsoever to the hull, no cracks, no dings. And then the breakaway rudder worked exactly like it's supposed to. It broke away, I was able to put it back, tighten her down, and she's ready for her next rip. Extremely cool boat, highly recommend it. I mean, I couldn't even get it past half throttle. That's how fast this thing was. Now, if you haven't liked, subscribed, and done all that good stuff, do it now, because the projects are only gonna get better and bigger and badder. With that being said, we appreciate you guys watching, and we'll check you in the next one. Smoking RC.